Lindsay Connery, Mortgage Chef, coming to you from Mortgage Chef Central in Strongsville, Ohio, with Dana from Hot Doors, realtor, unbelievable realtor. Tell us. Hi, say hi. Welcome, Dana. I'm glad to have you today. Today, we're going to talk about the, the current market, first time home buyers, all kind of fun stuff with the real estate professional. Remember, mortgage guy, realist, realtor, two different people, but industries collide. So we could talk about some different things. So I guess the first thing, Dana, that like we, well, I'm hearing a lot from like Facebook people that are sending me messages on mortgage chef stuff. They're asking like, is it a good time for a first time home buyer to like even buy now? Because they're worried with everything they see on TV that's like the world's coming to an end, not going to do good, don't buy a house, everything's bad. Is it though? Um, absolutely not. Um, it's a wonderful time for first time home buyers to purchase a home. Okay. Um, it, I mean, it's always a great time. Um, especially when you have a wonderful lender. Um, the first thing we always like to say is make sure that you get pre-approved. Um, biggest misconception I feel is the first thing they do is they jump to a realtor and like, I want to get a house. Well, what does your situation look like? What can you afford? Yeah. Um, so usually we always go right back to lovely Lindsay's over here and yeah. try to get that pre-approval. So what the, the pre-approval process is very easy. With us, you can go to the conradteam.com and just hit apply now. Or you can call us and Elise will run you through that or Ted or one of, one of the folks here or myself even. But, but what I'm telling you is that the reason you get pre-approved is when, you, when she takes you to see houses, that means you can put offers in. Unless you have a lot of this sitting around, you're not putting an offer in unless you have a pre-approval. A pre-approval is as good as cash with us. And the reason it is is because once we do a pre-approval, we're going to run your credit. We're going to see what debts you have, check your income, and see if you have enough money to cover what's needed for the down payment. Um, this year, there's a bunch of down payment programs for new people um, as low as 0% now. Isn't it crazy? I mean, awesome. You, I mean, That's awesome. It doesn't mean 0% for the whole thing, though. It right. means 0% for the down payment. Now, those programs are for first-time homebuyers. You have to qualify for those. There's some as low as 3% now. There's a 3.5%. There's a 5%. There's all these programs that have like just kind of multiplied in the, in the recent year that have made it easier for someone that doesn't want to rent to give this money to the renter for a renter, you know, the person that owns the house for free and not build any equity. So if you're a first-time homebuyer and, and you've gotten pre-approved, and you're showing them houses, is there anything that like we should look for for first time home buyers? Like what as a first time home buyer, are say my budget's a hundred thousand. Are we are we shooting for hundred and one? Are we shooting for eighty one? Like kind of t- tell me like if I'm looking, you know, at houses, what to look for. Yeah. Um the biggest thing I like to say is it has to be a house that makes sense and makes sense for you. I feel a lot of people sometimes try to overbuy a house or underbuy a house. And the biggest thing you can't make up is square footage. So I always say you have to find something that matches your criteria and nobody can make that except for you. So whether it's the number of bedrooms you need, a square footage, some sort of yard for your little dog babies, I don't know. Um, You have to find something that's plausible for you. Then we can go back to the drawing board and really work with the lenders and see, okay, does this make sense? Can they afford this? What does that pre-approval say? And then we really can dive deeper and find something that's plausible and efficient for you to purchase. So the online lending thing that we've seen over the last couple of years kind of go, a lot of it's fizzled and crashed because the prices went super high and everyone's bidding super high. They didn't have a real estate professional to show them. They had an online real estate professional, which is like, great. I have an AI bot telling me this is a good house. Go buy this. Well, the AI bot's not making your mortgage payment or living in the house. So I strongly suggest if you're looking to buy a house, you call the the real estate professional. Yes, please. (laughs) It seems like she would be able to get the information from you and then translate it to some options that are what, like an educated decision. Yes, like, absolutely. So, so also another big thing that we're hearing a, a lot of people are going, okay, great. There's a down payment program. That's low down payment or zero down payment. That's fine for a lot of people, but then they go, well, wait a second. I thought that's all I had to pay for. There, there's obviously other costs involved. There's closing costs, a title company, a lot of things going, but the seller can sometimes pay for this. So kind of tell us what seller concessions are and like how you negotiate that in the deal and kind of give us just for, for the folks that don't know, there's options that maybe have the seller cover some of the costs for you. Absolutely. And I feel like that's something that's not very talked about or very common to hear about. Um, it's very common for a buyer to request some sort of concessions from a seller. That means asking a seller to help them with some of those end costs. It is key in purchasing. Not everybody that buys a house has endless amount of cash sitting around. So there's several ways that, especially when you work with a professional real estate agent, that we can work those in, we can have conversations. And again, 
knowing your lender very well too, that's important because they're the ones letting you know what that number is and what you have to bring to the table. So you want to make sure that your lender is being transparent with you so you know what that end cost is. And that helps your real estate agent really make sure that you're maximizing your offer and, you know, really getting the best deal you possibly can get. So like last year, obviously a lot of people ran into houses and they ended up like paying over list and then they kept like, you know, not doing inspections and like, and then now they're calling me a year later and they're like, Lindsay, can I get my money back? Well, that's not how it goes. Unfortunately, you could buy another house, but like you bought that one. And again, so give me what's going on like now, like, because everything I read, and again, I'm not a realtor, so I don't know what's going on. I'm usually in Morgan Chef Central here. Yes. I don't know what's happening in the world. Is, is that still happening? Like what's going on? Not to the extent, no. And the biggest thing I want to kind of rewind back to exactly what you said is, you know, last year, or the past two years, the market was so crazy. I feel like it scared a lot of people yeah. out of the whole idea of purchasing a home. Um, I will say the, the house that's right for you does happen and it does come up. Happens to a lot of people that I worked with where offer after offer, you know, getting denied after getting denied. And they found a house that they never thought that they were going to live in. And it, it's their, probably their home for life. Um, so it is still a good time, but do not jip out. Do not skip the inspections. Please don't skip the inspections. Make sure you listen to your lender. Make sure you're looking at houses that are within that range because the right one will come up. Um, so long story short, yeah. it is a wonderful time to buy. It's great for first time home buyers. Again, working with professionals, we really can help maximize that and make it happen. For you guys. So with that in the, the, the finance side of it is, is that the rates have changed this year. Everyone knows that, but let's call it what it is. It's a cyclical thing. They go up and down every year. So we want to make sure you're comfortable with the payment. So once you find the house that she shows you, feel free to reach back out to us to, to review the payment just so we're on the same page. Um, it doesn't mean that that's going to be your payment for the rest of your life. Uh, also, too, when, when you're buying a house, make sure that we get the right insurance agent. We know a bunch that it can happen. We know one very close down the street that we can have you call. If, if too, we want to just make sure that you're having the most cost-effective payment. Also, too, there's lots of different programs, like we said, that have different uh, discounts and things like that involved with the payments. So... Uh, Lastly, you could possibly refinance in the future. Everyone goes, well, this is my loan for their life or this is the house for life. Well, every three years and three months is the average of people update their loans. Either they're moving or they're refining or something like that. Yeah. So if, if it's not the end of the world, but you have to be comfortable with the payment at this point. Absolutely. So the, the market seems to be shifting and it seems like the deep, people are getting deals though at some point, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So if you're a first time home buyer and you're ready to go, first step is to call First step is to give me a call. Yep. Second step is for me to get you in contact with Lindsay okay. to get that pre-approval. And then we can kind of get the ball rolling from there. Great. And then, so 2023, we think it's going to be a good year to buy houses. I think it's going to be a wonderful year. Great. Well, I appreciate you, Dana, running through the stuff with me. If you're looking to buy a house, we know the professionals call us for a pre-approval. So you're not going to look at a house that someone else is going to buy. We look at a house that you can actually buy. And we'll do everything I can to make it as easy and as enjoyable for you as possible. See you soon.